Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Enter the Gungeon series. And by Enter the Gungeon, I of course mean Binding of Isaac, I don't know why I said that. Anyways, let's randomize uh, Tainted Isaac. Seems like an interesting little fella. Um, we could do the Beast as this guy, or I don't know, maybe we'll go Light Path. Light Path could be decent. Uh, we've got some unlocks to do for him for Repentance Plus, so let's just jump into it. I do like a good old Tainted Isaac run. He can be quite fun. And I'm going to jump straight into the question of the day for today. Um, this one is a pretty simple one. I almost just pulled my phone off my desk one second. It's charging and I just like footed the cable. Not hit it with my foot. Whoa! How did I not get hit there? Um, but, question of the day, jumping right into it. What was you doing directly before you started watching this video? Simple, plain and easy. What was you doing? For me, a multitude of things. Depending on... Um, if, it's, if it was literally seconds before this video, I was setting up to record this video. <laughs> if it was 10 seconds before, I was rebooting my PC because this game runs better if I reboot my PC. If it was a few minutes ago, I was watching someone play Modern Warfare um, Infected. Um, do you know, like, the zombies mode on uh, Call of Duty. I don't know why. I, I, I haven't watched any Modern Warfare gameplay in a long time. I don't think I've ever watched anyone play Infected in that game. But... I, it came with my recommended, and I've been watching it for, like, a while. Not continuously, but I've watched, like, six of his videos throughout the day, and thoroughly enjoyable, like, I have to say. Really, I, I don't even know the guy's name. I haven't even checked his channel yet, like, what it's called, but I've just been watching them. And then, just prior to that, watching some of The Office um, US with my girlfriend, um, just after she got home from work, and slightly prior to that, I'm going back through my whole day here, why not? Um, I was uh, eating, I'm, I got myself a kebab. So, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last episode, I was talking about how insanely hot it is in the UK at the moment. It has since cooled off. It, like, literally went from 40 degrees to 20 degrees. Literally a 20 degree drop today. It's kind of insane. Um, but one thing that happened is because the UK is not built in any way, shape, or form for that level of heat, all of the fridges broke in all of the shops. So, there is, like, no fresh food, <laughs> like, at all. Uh, all the vegetable, all the meat and everything in all the shops near me has all gone off because the fridge has stopped working. Um, and uh, so that meant that I did, couldn't really buy much for my tea, uh, so I ended up getting a kebab. And honestly, the kebab was very good, but, but I made a slight slight miscalculation. So, at the minute, we're, uh, we're hosting someone at, um, at my house because... Uh, they, they got kicked out, and we have a spare room, so we're hosting someone at my house. Um, and, ooh. Both of these are good. But, I don't know, actually. Um, pushes confused enemies. Um, enters your pocket item upon pickup, if possible. I think I should take that just because it can be a pocket item. Um, whereas D20 can't be, it's, it's, it's extra utility for us that we wouldn't otherwise have. Um, so that's really nice to get. Um, and it's also just a good item in general. I've made mistakes here. Um, yeah, good damage and stuff. Um, ooh, this could be good. Unknown activates a random terror card. Ooh. I'll hold on to that and trigger it after the boss, I think. Strength is whatever. Good amount of money. Let's go for our shop here. See what's what. Um, yeah, I made a little bit of a judgment error because, yeah, as I said, we've got a friend staying over and they came over from Montserrat and they've just had their graduation, so their family is down from Montserrat um, and he kindly brought us some treats or got his, got his parents to bring some treats with him um, and that is like, he brought some like sauces and spices and stuff like that and I'm really into hot sauce, so he brought a hot sauce for me uh, and Katie and my goodness, it's quite the hot sauce and I put quite a large amount of it on my kebab, which honestly was enjoyable. Um, it's pretty good. It was enjoyable because I do like hot sauce, but god damn, I've not had a lot of hot food recently, and I was not ready. <laughs> I was not ready. Um, okay. I think Notched Axe is a really good grab here. I think now that we've got um, two spacebar items, we're in a good spot. I think we should try and find our secret room here. Just want to check something, by the way. Okay, no. I was checking just to see maybe I could get things using concussion, but I can't. But Notched Axe is really good here because we can find secret rooms easily. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure what the secret room is right now, I'll be honest. Um, but I'll go have a look-see. 
I think it's here. No? It must be here then? What? Is it here? It is here. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, we got a chaos card. Um, I actually don't think I care. It's a little, like, it's good, but I don't know if I want to carry it for that long. Where's the second secret room? Hmm. I'm taking my sweet ass time on this floor, I realize, but it's all in good, um, it's all for a good reason, so let's just deal with it, shall we? Hmm. Second secret room. Speak to me. Where are you? Reveal yourself to me. Maybe it's here? What? I'm confused. Did I did I check over here? I did. Okay, one last check. So otherwise I'm really not sure. Here? I have literally no idea. Yeah, it's, 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 it's gone. Wherever it is, it's gone. I'm sure there's a wall that I missed and didn't check. But that's all that I'm willing to do, folks. Thank you, my dip friends, for saving me from this absolute barrage of shots. Oh, you see that dodge. Do you know what? I'm going to go for another bomb, just considering how big of a bomb hole you are. Um, and then, yeah, like, earlier today, I'm just going to recount my whole day, because why not? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of maybe interesting, I hope. <laughs> I hope people are interested. Anyways, let's go to the downpour here. Um, let's do that and that and that. I love the way that we can destroy the pots. <laughs> right, keep it going, keep it going. Um, yeah, um, I was walking home because I went into the um, sort of city centre to go to the office. Um, and I, I basically had to like demo my product to a bunch of new people that I hadn't met before, which is kind of socially scary. Um, but I, I managed it. I, I'm a big boy now. Dude, those two, considering they fire in random directions, just coordinated the most specific and precise assault that I've ever seen. I commend you for this. I commend you for this, my god. I am just checking every wall with this because it doesn't use a... One thing with the notched axe that makes it so insanely good is it doesn't use a charge when you just swing it at random stuff. It only uses a charge if it destroys a wall or a, a rock or something. So you've got a lot of safety with it. Ooh, we'll definitely grab that. Oh, I think... Yes. Um, We have a, a, a bit of an interesting bug here. So, I don't know if you can tell what the bug is, but the the price of the random discount actually um, changes every single time. So, we can, we can get some really good deals. Can I destroy these guys with it? I can never remember. No, I can't. We can get some really good deals here by um, abusing that, which is kind of interesting. Because I didn't expect the... Um, the minimum cost to be so low, but I don't know if you saw there. One of those went down to two cents. So, if we bide our time in the future shops, we can get some really cheap deals, which is mighty interesting to me. Okay, so there we go. We got that. Let's go get Mysterious Gift and see what it gives us. Well, that's that's going to be interesting. I really, really like that little, that little weird synergy that we've got going on there. <sighs> unfortunately, two active items, obviously not good. Um, unfortunately, two active items, obviously not good. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm in... Hmm. I'm going to take this. Just because I know for a fact with this, I can get a crawl space. And then I'm going to take this and use it on that. Okay. So I think we take the look. Okay, we stick with the Crooked Penny for now when we try and charge this bad boy up and get some interesting stuff going with it. We could smell our trinket onto ourselves, and I very much want to do that because our trinket is very good. But I want to try and get the Devil Deal first. 
Oh god. But we've already buggered this up because I needed the full soul heart to do this. This room's evil. This room is truly, truly evil. Dude, 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 dude. That dude? Are you kidding me? Um, what's the best way to do this? I think it's like this, isn't it? Which is going to be a little bit of a long process, I would assume. Especially on this guy. But I really don't see a better way of doing this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would like more soul hearts, please. I I'm trying to, like, sort of suss out when's the best time to use Concussion. Like, is it an always use thing or is it something that I should be a little more gentle about? Definitely going to lose a soul heart this room. Mainly because this boss is tough. But also because I don't understand this boss. This is a champion that I am not prepared for. It does seem that he isn't spawning things, which is interesting. As you can see, he is doing attacks that I am not ready for. Um, yep. Yep. Attacks that I am not- oh god, don't kill me, dude. This is a really interesting and very unique and different fight to the normal Min Min. No spawns, lots of high-velocity attacks. Very interesting, but also kind of scurry. Um, I think... I think we go for the horn, just because that gives us the black heart to smell our trinket. It also gives us a damage up. Uh, right. We come over here. Melt that bad lad. Thank you. Now that thing's permanently attached to us. That is super good. But yeah, I ended up having to go to the office and do some shenanigans. I had to do some um, do some demos for some people. It's it's one of those things where it's like, I, like it's part of my job. I, I do it. I've done it multiple times before. It's not something that's sort of new to me. But it still it still makes me a little nervous, especially when it's important people, which it was today. Well, makes me a little nervous. Um, luckily, though, everyone was friendly. Everyone was understanding. A few things did go wrong, but, like, everyone was pretty pretty good about it. Um, I think we want Slippery Tooth. I, I do find it kind of in, uh, it, kind of funny there that we had Dead Tooth and Slippery Tooth, so literally the tooth two different sides, like, up and down. Fortunately, that's not much for us there. Right, we'll try and get another secret room item out of Crooked Penny here. Um... I'm, I'm going to say that we probably won't get it this time, but we'll try, yeah. Unfortunately not, but we had to give it a go. And we still want to stick with Notched Axe, most certainly here. Still want to stick with Notched Axe, and with that, I'm going to say we'll try and find out the secret room. we got a cracked key here. Um, we did get into our Devil Deal. Damocles is certainly interesting, but I'm not super intrigued by any of those, to be honest. Damocles is just a bit too risky right now, I think. Take like both of those. Hmm. I'm gonna try for this. We got a library, which I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Take a scratcher. I'll probably take a lot of the stuff that's here, to be honest. Hanged Man, Wheel of Fortune, just pop it. We got Lover's Card there. She's my lover. Addicted. Speed down, I don't really care about because I got speed up earlier. Shot speed up's decent. And here we'll just take that. We don't care about what we get here. And we'll come back and get our uh, unknown card and we'll pop it. Okay. Now, this makes things interesting. It gave me a broken heart as well. Notched Axe. Hmm. Notched Axe, you're good. But this is better. This is better. That was a very good red key, by the way. Very good cracked key there. Wasn't expecting quite that amount of power. But here we can lean a little heavier into the devil deals. All that sort of good stuff. Don't know if we'll go if if we will, but we can now. So I'm I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by that. Definitely want to be going to our shop regardless of our money because we can always get some cheap deals. Let's make some folk slippery. You know how it be. Make that boy slippery boy. Make that boy slippery boy. But yeah, having 7.77 luck here. For one, it's going to enable all our tier effects to be really effective. Effects to be effective, but also. 
It's really good for um, finding items and finding consumables and stuff. Always good stuff. Always good stuff. But yeah, it's been a, been a bit a busy old day. I went in yesterday. Um, I think I mentioned it in the last video. I went in yesterday for some testing, uh, like ahead of time, and I really regretted it because yesterday it was insanely hot. Whoa! I hit that guy as he was um, <laughs> as he was about to charge, and it just launched him. Are you all right, sir? I don't think you're all right, are you? Definitely having the dead tooth here, whatever whatever this thing called slippery tooth is going to be kind of useful. Covering the floor in crap. Because it works as creep, but also buffs our stats. It's, it's it's good in both facets. Oh god, I didn't mean to fly into that, but honestly, I'll take it. Look foot or D-pad. I think look foot is better. Even though D-pad is good, look foot's more passive. And then I think we want Maggie's bow here, just because it gives us a heart that we can then throw away. So, okay, so we got one of the new items from the Monster Train mod, um, which I got. I don't know why I got it, but anyways. Um, extra speed, size down. You saw it was three cent there, so let's, let's, let's wait for a good price. We don't need to wait for the best price, but let's wait for a good price. I want it to be like under five, five or under. We might be here a bit of time, but there's five, there's nine. There's five again. 12. 14. 12. 12. God damn it, 12. 12 is pretty common by the looks of it. 12 again. 15, full price. Five. Got it. Okay. Oh, it makes us so teeny tiny. Oh my goodness. Right. Do a reroll. And then I think we want to go for the battery. Right. We just need to we we just need to be able to purchase it, and there you go. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, if we can get more ways to abuse this shop, I would be very happy. I love our teeny tiny size here. That makes me very very uh, very very happy. Also, the bonus speed is really nice. That is, I don't know. That's a really good item, but it I don't know. Does it does it have the same level of power as the Pluto item? Because it feels like it might so that might be a bit strong i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see it's a mod that i, that I like is new I, I like monster train the items look pretty good so i thought why not purchasing an item from a shop makes your next non-item purchase free okay we got we got some shop stuff going on we got some shop stuff going on i love the fact that my clot is actually larger than me that is quite hilarious Activate a random page trigger and picking up a coin. Now, we'll see what we got. I like our shop bonuses. I managed to hit both of them there. I wasn't expecting that. It's super nice having this. And also, really, really good with 9 um, volt. Really good. You can see how fast it's charging. <laughs> I managed to push him away and change the direction he's going to dive in there. That's kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting that. No, my clock got hit. Clot in there. I wonder if I can influence much of the attack patterns that he's about to do. Okay, it doesn't matter. He's not diving around anymore. I don't need to think about that anymore. No longer relevant. I can get in there for this, uh, the stat increase. Mainly the fire rate. You get an insane fire rate bonus. But yeah, we'll see how the balance feels on these monster train items. The sprites aren't super fitting, but I like it. Um, Veil of Darkness. I love the fact that when the Veil of Darkness comes up, it adds darkness to the room. Um, grants Curse of Blight, plus three black hearts, and plus... Ooh. I like the idea. I like the idea. Let's, let's take it. Veil of Darkness. And it also gave us an item that didn't count towards my, um, maximum number of items. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. Is this broken? Damn it! <laughs> I was maybe thinking that it'd like, keep giving me items on pickup. That would have been hilarious. But they thought of that. <laughs> I had to I had to check. Um is that sanguine I'm I'm almost certain that's sanguine bond right there. Eh. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm fine for Sanguine Bond, actually. Okay, let's uh, let's keep moving on. Yeah, we got some interesting stuff going on today. Some very interesting stuff indeed. The fact that we got an additional item on top of our maximum there was uh, unexpected and pretty beautiful. Go. But the fact that we've got 9 volt with this book, I'm not going to be super worried about my health, I'll be honest. Secret room's almost definitely here. Hello. Can you pay out with items? I don't know. I, I don't want to spend any money just because our shops are so insanely valuable right now. Um, of, of course, we can only hold a maximum number of items, but we could roll into birthright or find birthright, and that would increase our maximum number by a good chunk. I think it's four. We get... Hmm... I think Mum's Ring is the one we go for first here, because that's a damage up of higher calibre and a Soul of Ice. Nice. Golden Penny here. This is the sort of money that we want. This is what we want to see. Oh god, I love it when we keep spawning in the same place pretty much say over and over again. Okay, shop, here you are. Here you are to stay for the day. Okay, we've got, I think that's D-Stock, the Cursed Candle, Dreamcatcher, and I don't know what the other thing is. I'm honestly not sure, but none of that is Birthright. Birthright's really the item we're sticking our head out for, or uh, obviously a restock machine so that we can find it. That one didn't have a restock machine, so that's fine. I think that's going to be Secret Room, right? Pop this. Doubles our money. Very nice. I'll just pop that now. Ah, I probably should have at least destroyed the fool's gold rock first. That was a bit gooberish of me. What a fool. What a fool. Indeed. What a fool. But yeah, I've been having a, a fun time just watching this dude play Infected on Modern Warfare. I love it when that happens. When you just like... I mean, I'm, I'm hoping at least that it's happened to a few of you with my channel. Where you just stumble across a channel that you hadn't even heard of before, that was doing content that, like, you're into, and you just find it, and then you can binging the hell out of it and just having a real good time with it. It's so enjoyable when that happens. It's, it's kind of rare when you find a, a really, like, gem of a channel like that, but it is just really just a great time when you do. You get that first few days of just binging the hell out of it. Oh, God. This guy with the, um, the, the cursed audio. I don't know where my item room is. Damn it, no death 30. What the hell? Don't don't you dare exist and not drop me death certificate game. How could you do this? God damn, yeah, concussion's available in like two seconds. We need to be using this way more often than we currently are. We can quite literally spam it. Teeny tiny shock boy. There you go, look at that. Spam, spam, spam. Everything's stunned, pushing things away from us. <laughs> the knockback you can get with this is crazy. <laughs> it just killed that guy outright. I love it. it. It Like, it does pretty good damage too. I can't believe that clot's still alive. He is hanging in there. Hanging in there. What the... I have to pick this up just to find out what in the God's green earth is it? What the hell? It's just a massive box. That's Halo Flies. Is it now? That sprite is buggered. <laughs> I actually am going to keep Halo Flies though. With that tiny size right now, I think Halo Flies could be pretty good. With how teeny tiny we are. Right. Make our way back. Back to the boss. Back, back to the boss. We do have the Soul of Isaac to work with, should we choose. We do have a few items around that we could use it on. I'm saving it for like a devil deal or something. Yeah, I've, I've updated a mod and it's clearly not done a good job of it. Because Halo Flies is really buggered. No, my fella. My poor, my poor sweet summer child. 
My clot is gone. No, thank you, sir. There you go. Bombina, Bombnerna. We're getting nine lives out of this. Um, I think it makes sense to take nine lives, right? Does it? We we'll get. We have another revive, but where's it from? Is it Dark Judas? Yeah, let's take it. I'll take it over. Honestly, Halo flies. <laughs> I know we just said that the item's pretty use, uh, useful, but you know what? I'm, I'm still going to say that nine lives, while not in itself more useful, if we have a bad time and die a lot, or if we get more guppy items, which is plausible, it could end up being tickety-boo quite tasty. Probably a secret room here. This room again? I kind of would like to play around with that room and see if this guy can spawn items that we can re-roll, but... I also want to check out our shops prior and make sure we don't have anything crazy. Basically make sure we don't have a re-roll machine, because that's where we'd sink most of our money. We don't have a re-roll machine. We don't have great items either. We could upgrade you for 20 cents. When the player dies, the respawn will be with additional soul heart. When the player dies, the respawn will be additional red heart container and additional soul heart. Like, why not? Why not? We'll also pop this for some extra money. Pop this for some extra money. Ah, bugger. I tried it. I was trying to bait it into giving me what I wanted. It was too smart. It already knew not to give me what I wanted. And for that, I hate you. Boom and foul. Eternal heart. Hell yeah. Why did I walk directly into that, you may be asking? It's because I don't need to give a fuck. I don't give a fuck and I don't need to. Ooh, these guys. These guys are all getting a taste of their own medicine. Well, not really their own medicine. It's like, it's like covering them in a slick diarrhea that they share around with everyone. I wouldn't say that that's anyone's medicine, but you do you, I guess, Isaac. Isaac's a strange game. One thing that I always find funny, I know that it's kind of an Isaac meme that's been spread around multiple times, it's not exactly anything new, but it's like the, the meme of like trying to describe this game to your friends or like your parents, it, it just, I find it so hilarious, like, like how, if, if you were to describe this game in full as well, like not, not just like, oh it's a, a weird game with um, poop enemies, but like if you just got to describe it in full, god damn, you're gonna get some weird looks. It's a game about a child that's dying in uh, by being left by his abusive religious fanatic mother in a wooden chest and hallucinating um, in his last dying breath, his last moment. Essentially, it's not, I don't know if it's a hallucination as such, but it is, it's in his dying moments. He is dead within that chest. Um, and yeah, uh, there's, there's lots of enemies that are based on poop. There's um, items that are based on uh, women's sanitary pads. There's, there's, all, there's all sorts of crazy stuff. Ooh, hello. This is a hard room. Okay. This room has some cojones. You know what? Get a bomb in there. Take out some of the, uh, the more annoying fellas for me. But yeah, that's all soul hearts for me. Hello. Give us more money. Sack of Keeper. Don't know what this is, but I'll pick it up. Hey, it's a quarter. <laughs> That's a lot more money. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. That was rather generous. That's the clicker, and I don't know what the other thing is. It looks like a bum. It looks like key bum or something, maybe? I have to be honest, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Check out in here. Do I know what any of this crap is? Hmm. Bumbling Bundle is here. What's the Sparky Box? 
Is that 4.5 volt? I don't know. I feel like that is manuscript. I'm gonna check out. It is manuscripts. Manuscript is potentially good. Don't we want to keep 9 volt? Mm, it's getting a bit tricky. Manuscript over damage is not, not a good trade, no. Um, maybe over teeny tiny? But teeny tiny is so fun. Maybe I just soul of Isaac it and see what we get. Nothing good for it. Um, damn. I was really hoping that we'd get something good out of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a risk taker and see what this is. Fanny pack. Come on now. Probably be something cool. Okay, that wasn't great. I have to, I have to admit, that wasn't exactly the result I was looking for. Out of that, I've also got this. I guess I'll pick up this one. It is a bum. I knew it was going to be a bum. God damn it. But yeah, I knew this was all here, so. Didn't have as much of a risk. Yeah, we really need Beth right here, because at the minute, our items aren't great. But they're all like they're all like not amazing. I mean, there is some co good ones in there, but also they're kind of like integral to our build. <laughs> I can't afford to give away anything, but also I need new things. What is going on with these enemies? Apparently, Ipecac is going to be having like an overhaul redesign of its enemies and stuff soon. I, I say soon in the future. I won't say I won't say specifically soon. Uh, but I'm looking forward to that, because while I do um, like a lot of the enemies, a lot of them are a little off theme or a little janky or a little weird, like those flies. They don't particularly add much to the game at the moment. They're just kind of there. So it'd be nice to see some of them reworked a little bit and ch changed around somewhat. Just to be a little more fitting or be a little more interesting to fight. Surprise, I've not been hit by any of these. Okay, spoke too soon. Um, yeah. Move on to the boss. It is bloaty bloaty. Stand directly below bloat. That is the way you fight him, right? Prob I was just about to say, probably going to take... Ooh. I was just about to say, probably going to take some damage to him. I didn't intend for it to be quite that much damage. But still, he's in a terrible position and refuses to jump right now. Oh, God. We've taken so much damage from this guy. Oh, look, he jumped. Oh, my God. I must have taken, like, eight hits of damage to that dude then. I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> okay, Horror Babylon is a is a must grab. I think we take it over, over Teeny Tiny. I do love Teeny Tiny, but at this stage in the game, the damage plus speed, the speed makes up for the speed lost. But the damage is invaluable. Oh, it's not even act. Doesn't matter. I thought it was active. I thought Horror Babylon was doing something for us. Currently, it is not. This is a long run as well. <laughs> I was intending for this to be like a speedy, speedy one. It has not been. I don't know. I feel like maybe a death is in the cards here. I know we have nine lives, but I'm playing this a bit fast and loose, and this hasn't really gone the way I planned it to. And I feel like we just, like I said, I haven't really got anything crazy yet. Restock machine is pretty good. I have had a little idea, actually. So, if I'm holding the Veil of Darkness, like, I get the curses, but if I'm not holding it, do I still get them for the, for the rest of the floor? Because I might be able to, like, drop it briefly on a floor to be able to see the items that I'm picking up and then sort of change it around that way, maybe? I don't know. Is that... Would that cheese work? I don't know if that cheese would work. I don't know if I can hold that cheddar. Yeah, hopefully shop can sort us out a little bit here. Just... This is just kind of... I think... I think there's a bit of a problem with... with I've, I've said it in the past. There's a little bit of an issue, in my opinion, with this character. 
like I like the idea and I like the premise that it's like, hey, if you get good items, eight items can carry a whole ru whole run. And that's pretty cool. And obviously, having literally double the chance to get those good items does make this character way more viable. Um, but I have to say, sometimes you get these runs where you don't really get what you need. And I don't know, this just feels really lacking. God, I love batting that guy away. It doesn't do all that much damage there, I will say. Are these all eternal? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, Captain? I was not expecting that. I'll be honest. Look at that. Look at him go. And he's out of there. <laughs> love that. Okay, got through it. Bit of a tricky room though. But yeah, so we're kind of like stuck a little bit here. Maybe this room didn't give us any trouble. This is a Dominic, I think, is it? No. What the heck? I'm so confused. <laughs> what? 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 Why was that door there? <laughs> what? Like, I think... Oh, we are. We are buggered here. I think what happened there is a Dormic tried to spawn, and instead it spawned a real door. But because the door didn't lead anywhere, it took me to the error room, because that's what the game does if it doesn't know where to take you. Oh, we are ultra burned here. I wasn't expecting it to be, uh, be a loss today, I have to say, but goddamn, I'm pretty sure it's going to be one. Like, with nine lives and everything, I thought, I don't know. thought we had it locked down. But, unfortunately, I don't think we do. And even if, even if we didn't get uh, Polaroid or negative here, so. It's just one of those days. Sometimes it happens, doesn't it? But, we, we have a good run. I don't know, I'm, I, th I feel like I'm just playing not great too, as, as evidenced by me going down there. But... As you can see, we do come back with one extra red heart and an extra soul heart. With each life of nine lives. It's gonna help. This is a really long room. This room is taking some tie I aim. Boom. Boom. You're done now. Alright, hopefully we don't go too many wrong ways here because we honestly can't afford to. No! Dudes. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Oh, Lord. That hit me straight away. That hit me as well. These enemies are, um... These enemies are interesting. Okay, I think I've just got to go under them as they jump. Or move away from them as they jump sort of thing. Still, they were trickier than they should have been. I've not, I don't think I've ever really fought those enemies. Whoa, does this, what happens with this? Does this guy fire back at me? Whoa, he's firing at me. I'm not meant to do that. God damn. The confusion today is very large. Okay, at least we do have the Satanic Bible to hold us over. I have to say, the optimism isn't, isn't here though. The optimism isn't here. Oh Lord. Oh nah. Oh no. Okay. Take you out. Take you out. Take you out to a ball again. Do 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 do. I don't know what I expected there. Oh, it kept it kept the button unpressed. No. Oh goddamn. Ooh, white pony? Yeah, I was going to say it could be kind of good, but 
Got a good active actually, doesn't matter. Really, that didn't hit. I really, really needed that to hit. I'm literally just literally stun locking him. That I didn't think he could fire while he was stunned. He did, he did it twice? Three times? Oh god. I know I'm playing bad right now out of just like frustration. Like I'm getting hit way more than I would be otherwise, but also this run's kind of trash. <laughs> It started off so promising, but... Oh my lord, that attack is not good for us. I'm, I'm, I'm committing way too hard to Concussion. I realize that. That's definitely my downfall here. I should just pretty much leave it alone. Because I'm getting too close to this guy and it's getting me hurt. And I think that's why he's using the Psychic attack. I'd have much more time to dodge if I just left it alone, but my god. It's still being very, very tricky. Come on, come on, come on. Don't die. Not again. Not here. Not now. Dude, he keeps doing it. Holy sugar. That was quite... Do you know what? Just take whatever this is and find out what it is. Tiny Krampus. Don't have space for you, Tiny Krampus. I don't. I just don't. Oh. We've lost a lot of lives here. I think the veil was pr was probably one of my biggest problems taking that. The veil has been a problem. Why did I go this way again? We know these enemies are going to kill me. These enemies... Th them, them enemies are... Um, they're something. They're certainly something. Oh, that hit me. Oh, no. Yeah, that's certainly something. That's a design decision that I uh, have to say I'm not in huge support of, but you do you, I guess. Honestly, a strength card would go a long way right now, but I do want to hold my restock in case. I haven't been using my restock, and I don't really know why. I've had, I've had multiple opportunities to make good use of it. I think the, the real thing that's just rubbed me the wrong way right now is just base fire rate. Oh god, this is another Ipecac room. Oh, Ipecac rooms are just... Oh, boy. They really make you want to strangle a puppy. There's, there's creep there. Okay, then. Let's just bomb these guys. I have to deal with them. Your tiny skull, let's do it. Don't you do it. I actually managed to hit that tear away there. Where are you now, tiny skull, let's... Dude, come on. Oh, just pop your tail up in view of me. My god, that was tedious. Oh god, I'm, fight I'm fighting through, but I, I feel like resistance is futile. I feel like a death... Yeah, it's coming our way regardless. I'm taking some horrendous damage. Just horrendous damage. And as you can clearly see, not doing much with that. I do I do get Dark Judas next, which means I get a I get a two times damage multiplier. Couldn't even get out of the way. I want to be tiny again. The teeny tiny item was so good. Yeah, so we, we do come back as this guy, which gives us a whole frick load of damage, actually. I used the wrong thing there. Wait, I don't have Concussive Blast anymore. I realized that way too late. Okay, anyways, that was a depressing run. Turn it, Isaac, is a bit, bit, bit sad sometimes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. I'll see you guys in the next one.